<laughs> Today we'll be opening up a Power of the Force Deluxe Boba Fett. Hit it, hit it. Get it going. Two mothers went to the park. It was kinda kinda dark. In the daytime, call it right. Ryan, don't make us come by them in the bushy in the hip. Hey, pop that come head. on, you bitch. Come on, pop it. Oh! <laughs> What's up, CC and RR fans? We're back again, season five, rolling along. Rolling right along. We've got a lot of goodies coming in, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, kind of strange. But we've actually got some kind of new goodies, A right? lot of the episodes we've done this year have been very effortless because we've actually got toys. Yeah. I've got a lot. You have. you got a lot of repacks. i got a lot of repacks and, and a one or two super expensive things yes. that basically account for all the Black Series stuff. Correct. But you've, got, you've gotten a lot of repacks as well. Tons of repacks. Tons of repacks. Tons of repacks. I'm still getting them. <laughs> all the and, Rebel stuff. So, and I don't really know. I mean, let's just say there's 20 figures. I know it's more than that, but what, what would you say? five of those are new for me or in general like i'd say i'd say about speaking. right now i'd say about a quarter of whatever i've got has gotten has been new has been new okay but i mean that's ridiculous that is ridiculous so but th this behind us is not a green screen today this is not this is not so uh, you may notice we're in the rr studios they can't notice the heat in this room because it's already 100 degrees and i turned the air condition down specifically for you so i think you turned the heat on <laughs> so my 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 star wars room is like a quarter of the size of yours although i do have two rooms you do you have you have two rooms dedicated yes but this room is packed with so much stuff I don't know what to do. With you, it. Like I can't even organize. If you had a mouse that got into this room, it would have a field day, and you would never know. It it's just all cardboard. Yeah, because I mean, the rats ate my high school diploma, yeah. and I mean, this room, the the, the cardboard in here alone, yeah. they just devour it. Yeah, you know? it's out of control. I, I don't even know how to even organize this anymore. I, I just know. when I get something, I just put it on the shelf and say, well. These we'll walls, like these, you better hope else. that they built this house correct because these walls are just going to cave in. <laughs> they're just going to cave just gonna in. She's going to pull everything off the walls. Yeah, so so we're in the RR studios because we're going to film a couple of episodes here just to kind of change a scene. And Well, uh, I mean, you couldn't fit some of your toys in your car, so how to come over here? Yeah, that's true, yeah. So we're going to be reviewing the, uh, the Galaxy Edge toys today that are Target exclusives. Oh, yes. And one of those is the repacked... $400 Millennium Falcon that I'm still trying to understand why I bought. Uh, but I couldn't get it in my car. I got a little clown car yeah. and I couldn't get it in. Wouldn't so fit. so Cece said, you know, we'll come over here. We'll do some shows here. And here we are. Mm -hmm. I felt like it was getting cold. So I wanted to come here. Oh, that's right. That's, yeah, yeah. Because it is starting to get a little cold. It here is. It night. is. So, all right, fans. So what we're going to do on this episode, we're going to take a look at the Galaxy's Edge stuff that, for those of you that don't know, are their was they kind of were disney park galaxy's edge things they got me again yeah yeah so they got the, me again. these toys were not these toys maybe specifically but the, the galaxy's edge had their own star wars action figures black series yes they had, ex they had those they had black series had the three pack yes um exclusives to the parks yes which we reviewed we did review them could, sometime last season right and you could only get them there right correct so COVID hits, everyone's hurting for the dollar. And so Hasbro, Disney, and Target, and I don't know if it's those three in that order, but came up with the brilliant idea to basically repack yep. some of these figures yep. and sell them as Target single carded, Single, single card, card figures. figures. So, Which so, the best part about it was is that they're popping up in Disney parks now. Right. So, which is ironic. so much for the exclusivity of right. Target. Yes. So what 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 even makes this more funny is that these toys came out what? What was the date? Uh August 30th? Uh, August 30th. And it was like a one-time pop. Oh yeah. Like just like just like Force Friday and and their ghost. It was a 
That was a fun fun morning for me. Yeah, because you went to about 17 I different went, targets. I, I went to five targets. Five targets to get how many figures? Four figures. <laughs> Listen to that, fans. This is what we've come to. Five targets mm -hmm. to get four figures. Yep. So you, so you, you were not wanting to basically get scalped. You wanted to right. get them in the store. Yep. Had to go to five targets all day event to it get was, four so figures. I was out from. They opened at eight a.m. Yeah, and I didn't finish till about twelve forty-five. So it was four, four wow. hours, four wow. and a half hours. And the best thing is that I ended up back at the first one I went to at the end, mm -hmm. at, just out of a whim, uh -huh. and I got the last figure. Yeah. So. They hadn't even put half the stores hadn't even put them out yet. Yeah, no, I don't know if you fans and you can comment on this. You go to these stores when they're supposed to have these big premieres for yeah, these figures. They don't even know about it. No one knows what's going on. Yeah. or they put them out and they're already destroyed. The <laughs> ladies were bringing them out to me in the back room, crushed, razor cuts, yeah. destruction. And then they they're like they get mad at you and you're like you know really. It's very frustrating. It as, is. As a fan and a collector, it's very frustrating. Yes. Yes. So, so why don't we get started and we can tell some of the fun stories okay. from... from uh, so the best part about it was, originally you could order these figures. We ordered them back, I want to say, in sometime in, what, June? Yes. Yes. On Target's website. But the yeah. only ones that were available were the Captain Cardinal and the Rex, mm -hmm. which... I wore my Rex. That is a sweet shirt. You like this? I Disney, do. Disney, I got this at, at a Hollywood Studios. That's a cool shirt. You like that? I might have to get that shirt. So the fans... Who don't know the history of Rex? Rex used to be the driver of Star Tours vehicles. Star Tours. So when back in the '80s and '90s, and into I guess the early 2000s, Rex was Rex was the there Star Tours um, droid that would you go on your adventure with. Yes. Um, yes. And now Rex can be located um, in Batu at Galaxy's yeah. Edge in the cantina, and he's now the DJ. And, I, yeah. and I've had videos where I've put him up right, DJing. Yeah, and I, so. I kind of feel bad for Rex. They kind of furloughed him. They did for a long laid time. Laid him off. For a long time. And now he's, you know, he's, he's back. He's back as the DJ. So those two figures you could order online. Mm -hmm. And then as it got closer, of course, all the leaks started coming out. And mm -hmm. then there was they leaked out Hondo. They leaked out the Mountain Trooper. Mm -hmm. And then they also leaked out um, another droid, which was the droid from the ride, the Smuggler's Run ride, where it had like the war paint on his face it looks mm -hmm. like teeth mm -hmm. and they leaked out the commander Pyre, the gotcha. gold the gold the gold stormtrooper gotcha right so the, everything that came in the three packs that i had bought now they're all coming in single carded so we didn't know even the day of august 30s we didn't know what figures were always going to be no. available were just the two going to be available what right. what was going on well and the other thing was the millennium falcon was only in store was, was only on online. online and the moment it became available it you were like out. It's up, get it, yep. gone. Yeah, and luckily they did a, a round two. Yeah, because a lot of people complained. Right, right, yeah. Because, I mean, if there's the only way I can get it. Right. So, I had two Rexes coming and two Cardinals coming from Target's website. But I said, I'd rather have them in hand at the store because you right. know what happens. I oh, we'll, right. we'll talk about the Falcon in a right. little bit. So, I guess we can start with Rex. Yeah, so, so let's start with I Rex. have a Rex at my house that's minty. Okay. But I didn't want to bring that because why bother taking a chance? Right. So what I did was I brought the one I got from Target's website. <laughs> so they throw stickers all over these boxes. One of the other Rexes I had that I returned uh -huh. had one straight across here. The two Cardinals I got demolished. Yeah. Uh, this one, it's going to be a little bit hard to see, but like there's so much rubbing and abrasion on the box here. There's like dents. You know, it, this is not a clean box by any means. Um, I mean, it's not totally destroyed. But as a collector, I wouldn't be happy with, with right. the rub marks and everything like that. And, you know, like I said, this, if you pull it off the wrong way, it's going to rip your, I mean, it could rip your stuff right off. So, yeah. um, but I wanted to have a Rex to open. Yeah. So this was one that I got. This is the one, one of the ones I got actually from the website. And I, I mean, that's, take a look at that, fans. That's probably the coolest out of this wave is Rex. I would Would's say it? Rex is probably the coolest. And yeah. it's one of those things where, like I said, he's already come in the three packs. Yeah. But, and this box, this is the box size that I thought all the new Rainbow Coalition boxes were coming in. So when I saw this box, I was like, this is a big box, but it's because of his base. He's got a big base. Yeah. So we got the Rex, um, and we'll open him. Yes. And he, I actually got yes. you a Rex. Yes, this is another Rex here. So we've got two of those right. that we're gonna open up like it was Christmas time. Yeah, so I'm actually this gonna is, open. This is a lot of nostalgia for me because I went to Holly, or Hollywood Studios at the time, MGM, MGM Studios, Studios yeah. in 1989. Mm -hmm. 
when it just opened yep. and the Star Wars ride was what I wanted to do. Yep. I mean, seeing the AT-AT -AT yep. and the, uh, the Ewok Village. It was amazing. I mean, it was amazing. So having this figure yep. is... Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. Cool. All right. So the second figure up is the Captain Cardinal figure, which is essentially a Sith Trooper with a Phasma cape. <laughs> um, and these are all... These figures are all figures that are tied to the Galaxy's Edge Batu storyline. Okay. A lot of these figures are like kind of made up to a certain extent, okay. you know, mm -hmm. um, like the mountain troopers and all these things, the Pyrees. So a lot of these figures are exclusive to Disney parks. Okay. So these, they all play a role in, yes. in, the, in, the, yes. in the, in the rides. Uh, some, some of them do, okay, um, and some of them are just made-up characters. Now, it, for the fans, these boxes are basically the same, although they have. So yeah, so you know, they have that. these are like, almost like they're definitely it's definitely the original uh, red box type uh -huh. style, like almost uh -huh. like the gaming grates. Yes, um, but they instead of like you know where they have the carbonized things now, in the gaming grates mm -hmm. has this little circle. This says transported from Galaxy's Edge Trading Post, and then it shows the allegiance. So there's mm -hmm. the um, first order. Um, it's got the brown, which is kind of fills in with the tone of um, Galaxy's Edge. Galaxy's Edge is very like earth tones. And in the back, it shows you, they're not carded, but it shows you his story. And then it gives you the little thing. Yeah. So these are definitely more original box, black box stuff, okay. just black, uh, black series box. Um, it's a cool figure. I mean, these are cool figures, but these are just straight repacks from the stuff that I had bought. Um, so yeah, so there's your Cardinal. And then the next one up is, I'll move this out of the way so it's out of the way is hondo now that's, Han that's probably the second yeah the now part. hondo is is another figure that goes with the um he's from the black spire outpost which is the outpost at, Gar at galaxy's edge he is also your tour guide on the smuggler's run ride the smuggler's run. yeah so okay. when you go into smuggler's run in the in the waiting queue when you're before you get on the ride there's a full-size animatronic of hondo who mm -hmm. gives you the basics of the ride Gotcha. And it's pretty impressive, dude. Yeah. Like it looks like a real character. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it, it you could say it's almost it almost looks real. Mm -hmm. So that's Hondo, and Hondo is a pirate. Yes, and he was in the Rebels show. He was. That, yes, that's where he was sort of Correct. introduced. And he, and he was kind of good, kind of bad. He had his allegiances switched. Yes. And of course, when these figures came out, as soon as they started coming out, all the stuff started popping up on Instagram and mm -hmm. all the the websites. So this box has the first order allegiance but there are hondos now now that have the rebel <laughs> allegiance so if i ever came mm -hmm. across one if i ever came across one and they had the rebel one i guess i would buy it but i'm not actively looking for yeah. it because that's ridiculous yeah that's, in my mind that's absolutely ridiculous this is an interesting looking figure yeah so and this is a new i mean i know this came out in galaxy's edge in the three pack but that's that's a new figure like we've got billions of of clone troopers, clone troopers. yeah. No, this troopers, this was this this was a new mold for the three packs. Yes, originally. Yeah. Yes. All right. So the last one that became and these this and Hondo were the two hard ones to find because okay. these were not ones you could pre order. Gotcha. So the Mountain Trooper so, and and no one knew that Hondo and the Mountain Trooper were really coming out that day. Like mm -hmm. it wasn't really known at the time which figures were going to release. Mm -hmm. Now they're saying that Pyrie and the other droid is October first. That's what they're saying. Gotcha. So maybe when I'm in Disney. In October, mm -hmm. if I don't find them in Target, I can get lucky and find them at Galaxy's Edge now and save myself the heartbreak of having to run around. Yeah. So, okay, so here's your Mountain Trooper. Um, this also is a Galaxy's Edge um, figure. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's one of these where they say he specializes in like uh, the Batu Mountains. <laughs> and that's where he's tied to. It's, it's funny, some people were saying, oh, I don't remember him from Rogue One. It's not, he's not from Rogue One. Yeah, he kind of looks, like the... looks like the Scarif yeah. Troopers. Yes. Yep. But this is specifically, once again, a Disney Galaxy's Edge figure. So this was a new mold as well. It is. No no kind of re, uh, repurposing from the Scarab Troopers? No. no I mean, I, it may be slightly, maybe some of the body style, but yeah. it's a new mold with the face yeah. and everything. Um, and his allegiance is obviously first order as well. So these are the four single-carded um, figures that came out with Galaxy's Edge. Um, it was five hours to find four figures. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely. Right. And, and it's, it, we need to tell the fans here, 
that these are premium figures. They're charging twenty four. These are twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars. They're twenty four ninety nine plus tax. And there's literally you get nothing else no. other than it saying that it's from Galaxy. That's it. You're paying for Disney's yeah. name. Right. I mean, essentially, that's what you're paying for. Right. They and it's charged. kind of frustrating. I mean, it is yeah. a little frustrating, dude. I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. And the fact that I know I have to buy at least two more is kind of frustrating. So. So those are your four figures for Black Series. Um, now I do I did get a couple extra treats. All right, so let's show those before we open the. So Rex. I did get a couple special treats. Gal oh. They did some Galaxy's Edge Trading Outpost droids. So I got I bought three of them. These were nine dollars. So I bought three. I like those little cute. I boxes. I like the boxes. I do. So like those. I bought them because we joked about. The we build a droid. The build a droids, and remember we did it during the fan giveaway. Yeah. And shout out to. Um, oh man, what was his name? He's from Texas. He's from Texas, and now I'm gonna forget his name. Maybe we should cut Salazar, Mr. Salazar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yes, congratulations to him. He won he, our back to school special. He he won all the folders yep. in a rare builder droid at the time, and we, we gave we him a builder droid with the card back and everything. Yep. And it was in crush. So it's funny how we were talking about builder droids were gone. Yeah. But look what Disney does. They sneak them right back <laughs> in. As soon as we say it, they sneak them in. Another prediction. So come true. These are just basic droids, and I just I just picked really just random at random. But I liked how the BB units came in two boxes. There's two in there. There's two. Let's see. So you get two BB units in that box for nine bucks. Mm -hmm. And with this uh, R2 droid, the astromech droid, it came with the, the dome head and the square head. So you get so you get you can take off the head and pop another one on. So they literally had someone sitting at the build a droid location. Those are all the parts that I couldn't find when I took the picture of the empty build a yes. droids. And now we know where they went. They all went right in here. They, this they, was probably sitting in one of those bins. Yes, they they literally just made some yep. droids, popped it in a box, yep. sell them for 10 bucks. And then I got an orange and black one with, he's got the flames on the sides where he's flying like the R2 unit. Oh. I don't know if you can see that, but he's got the flame. So so those boxes are pretty small. I, yeah, and there's there's a lot of these. You can find them anywhere. anywhere. Well, I mean, when they first come out, you can find them. Oh. But like there's... I don't know how many. I, there's like upwards of over 15 versions of these. Like there's oh, tons I bet. of them. I bet there's tons of them. But they went pretty quick because they're not real. They're not super expensive. Uh -huh. Um, and it, they're pretty cool little boxes. Like I said, this says BB Unit on it. it says Trading Post on it. Yeah. This says Astromech, and that says Astromech. And these are these are three and three quarter. Yes, figures. these are three. Yes, these are the the classic three three quarter yeah. figures. Which obviously you know a lot of fans right now. That's what they're they're clamoring for is the three and three quarter figures. So I bought them just because I like, you know, I'm a big Disney Disney nut. And I was like, all right, you know, these are pretty cool because they're actually carded figures. Mm -hmm. And it's just something else to have. So yeah. I, bought, I, I did buy a few of them for that reason. So cool. this is your black series and your three three quarter trading post figures that they have out right now. So keep your eyes out for Pyrie and the other droid, the astromech droid mm -hmm. that's coming out later. So. Now we can shift if you want. Before we open these, we can come back. You want to come back to these and open these later? Or you want to yeah. shift to your Millennium Falcon first? Well, let's do the DJ you want, Rex. You want to open them? Yeah, okay. and then we'll and then we'll talk about the vintage collection of Millennium Falcon. All right. So I'm going to put these over here out of the way, so we can open. So funny for the fans, you were like, "I'm getting two DJ Rexes." So I didn't, I actually got three DJ Rexes. <laughs> three DJ Rexes, and you got but you got two in the mail, right? I got two in the mail. And I got, and I bought two in the stores. Yeah, yeah. And I returned, I returned one of the ones from Target. Kept one minty at my house. Uh -huh. Gave you the other better one. Uh -huh. And then I kept the crappy one to open. Yeah. So, so we were debating on whether I should just you find one in the store that was mint or, or wait, wait. And I was waiting. And then the more you went to Targets, the more I was like, you know what? If you find a minty one, right. I just rather you have it. Because getting it from Target is right. A so joke. I mean, there's there's a big difference between the one you got and this this, <laughs> this one. You know, th this one's pretty good shape. Yeah. I mean, very minimal wear and tear, a little bit. But you can always put them back in that box if you really want to and sell them. Where yeah. this box is just beat. I'm not going to even keep this box. All right. So here we so go. Open fans. double a double dose of Rex. Double dose of Rex on the show. All right. So here we go, fans. A lot, of, a lot of plastic. I, dude, I'm still trying to figure out what Hasbro's going to okay, do. Okay, so you know, this is the this is the rumor with Hasbro, is they're going to move to the you know the Cad Bane exclusives, yes. the slider boxes, yeah, where he's the that's that's the rumor is that that's what they're going to do. But what are they going to do with the vintage collection? I have no idea. I don't know how you're going to card back an original card in a vintage card right. vintage. 
when it doesn't even look like a vintage. I know. It's maybe they'll high. go to something like this, where there's less. <laughs> yeah, you, you go over to Swaybox. Which uh, maybe they'll do that because they will give you more and no an excuse. Yeah. So this is look how much plastic. Yeah. I mean, come on, dude. Really? Is is in this? Wow. That's insane. That is. That's a lot of plastic. <laughs> that's a, that is some impressive list thing of plastic. I just broke his arm. No, okay. <laughs> Be careful when you get that arm out, dude. That one arm is tucked in. Look. Wait, the this, back one? this back one is tucked in. So be careful when you, when you grab it. I almost want to pop his arms out first. I know, right? I feel like it's Christmas time. Oh, his head goes, moves up and down. Yeah, his head bobs like a bobble. Oh, I just broke his arm off. <laughs> I got my out. Unscathed. All right, so while you're... Uh... Got you got him? got him? All right, so... This is interesting. Interesting. All right, so here you go, fans. Um, Where's that arm? Which one? Which way does this way? Which way does his arm go here? The back arm? I, I don't know what arm it is. This one. The bottom, <laughs> lowest one. Oh, yeah. How does that pop in? So it's like it is. this right here. There you go, like that. There you go. So, so this figure. So you got some. This is a separate moving torso. This is a, another moving piece of the torso. And then you got three levels of moving torso. Um, you got articulation here, up and down. Be very careful if you get one of these. Yeah, strokes. look at this. Cause like this, it's everything, all this whole cylinder, every piece is separate, see? Yeah. So you can slide all his arms in different, yeah. in different ways. So this has got, this arm, look at this. This arm has got like a, a swivel here yep. as well. And the claw moves. Then you get this arm that is rel relatively um, stationary, but it moves up and down. And then it's got a little claw hand right here that it's got a swivel. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, it's like an E.T. Well, and so the DJ Rex, when you're, when you're eating in the cantina, uh -huh. his head does this a lot. Does it? It goes up and down. It like goes that. up and down. And you see he's got his headphones. He's got his Bose headphones on. <laughs> so, and then this arm, you got some swivel here. You got the claws that move. This claws got some swivel up and down. Um, yeah. So as CC was saying, his head can go up and down like ET. Yep. And then he's and got it pops his. Up. It'll actually stay up. Yeah. It's got 360, and then he's got this little piece here, which I guess is supposed to go down over his eyes. Yeah, it's just a visor. Yeah. Just a visor there. Um, and then, oh, his head can go, he can go up and down, look at that. See a little ball joint? A little ball joint in there. <sighs> Was careful with that. Was careful with that. Um, I think that's it. So here he is. Interesting, interesting figure. Definitely brings back some memories, you know, because he was the, the cool pilot of the... He was the original pilot when they had it, when they had the original ride. Now, you know, what doesn't, what's strange about this figure is that his arms are in random places. Like they're not symmetrical at all. No, because he's because he's he has to be able to do. He's got to be able to spin the records. Because he's a <laughs> DJ, and he's got to have a free hand. So see, these are the these are the record. These are the two for record spinning, and he's got this random third hand for whatever he's doing. So yeah, he does have a little bit of craziness going on with his arms. Yeah. But definitely a cool figure. My my claw hand back here is a little on the loose side. Yeah. Not a lot of um, playability with this figure. Like I don't think you'd buy this play buy it or play with it. It's it doesn't have that. But as a cool little like display piece like this, just to have him kind of propped up, like he'll look good next to my other Black Series figures. Yeah, I mean he's if you are a fan of the original ride. Yeah. I mean, and he's got his these are these color these paint apps uh -huh. are all based off of the um, DJ. The D oh the DJ thing. Yeah, so. those are those are the DJ colors. Oh, so check out that little those little paint apps there. And then here's this one. Yeah, he's definitely one of the, like I said, he's a fan favorite from the ride. Yeah. So pretty cool. There Not bad. Go. So there's your DJ Rex. There's your Black Series. There you go. All right. So we're going to transition over to my my fun experience. The Millennium with, Falcon. Yeah, with my uh, Galaxy's Edge. So luckily, maybe for me or not luckily for me, they came out with one item, right? I think that was it for, for the post. Well, yeah, or, you figure. So I paid $100 for the figures. Yeah. 
and then I paid another 18 bucks or 20 yeah. something bucks. So, so I only paid like 120 yes. something bucks. So my my fun experience was was debating on whether I was going to spend $400 for a repacked Millennium Falcon that basically this, had some paint apps. This almost ended your vintage collection. I, like I, you were very close I, to I, not. Yeah. So so CC said it's available. It's on. You can get it right, right now. Yeah, and I, I went on and I said, I'm not buying it. I'm not doing you it. You did not. You and it was gone. Yeah. And then it was too late. Because I actually had the rare opportunity to get it. Yeah. And so I thought about it and I thought about it because I'm on the fence. Like, I don't know if I'm collecting any more vintage collection. We said after 2020. Year. That's it. We, that's may be it. Done. we may be done with our line collections. Yes. We may just do yes. pick and choose type things. Right. Like this. Like I'm randomly right. buying this Black Series right. figure or the Mandos. Right. Because we just can't keep up. I just can't keep up anymore. And so what put me over the edge with this is that for the fans, if, if you're thinking about it, it is a repacked legacy slash original vintage collection um, Millennium Falcon. They basically put some additional paint apps on it and they put some additional Galaxy's Edge yeah, they, sounds in it. They had, yes, they have some okay. authentic sounds from Galaxy's Edge and yeah. it came with some Porgs. It came with, yeah. So so in this, in this Millennium Falcon here, you get... You get a Chewbacca and a Han Solo. In this one, and we're gonna, I'm going to show it to you here in a minute, you get a Chewbacca, a Hondo, which is going to be repacked on a single card as well. Now, is there? A, do you have? Is that the first time Hondo's come? Yes. Gotcha. Yeah. So what they did was they put them in the Falcon, and they said, "Well, why not make an extra thirteen, fourteen dollars in single card? Why not? They got a hundred dollars out of me." Right. Yeah. So you get that. So it's kind of like. So uh, here's where I'm at my 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 point here is is so they give you the two dishes, they give you the episode seven eight nine dish, mm -hmm. or seven and eight dish, and then they give you the circular dish from the original the trilogy, original right? Trilogy. But you're spending four hundred dollars, right? So why wouldn't you get a Han Solo as well, right? Like another uh, Han Solo because Han Solo is not in Galaxy's Edge. I yeah, I mean I get it. I get it, but it's just like, <laughs> why, then why keep the original trilogy sounds, or why give you a disc or the the. the... Yeah, this so is anyway. this is the smugglers run. Yes. Money so Vulcan. so let's cut, and then we'll do some compares. Okay. All right. So. Four hundred dollars for something that's way overpriced. Well, talk about first of all, it, yeah, talk about four hundred dollars, but. Yeah. This is the shipper box. So so for the fans, if you're on the fence about spending $400 for this, this is how it's going to come. Target literally took the Hasbro box, put a shipping label on it, and said, send it off. It's a shipper box. It's the shipper box. This is only online, so you can't get this in the you store. You cannot get it in the store. So you're taking your chances with getting this online, okay? So they don't put any extra packaging or protection on this. No. They do nothing. And what's frustrating is that not only are you spending four hundred dollars, but see, uh, cameraman, take a look at the how this looks in the box. Literally no protection. No, you're, I mean you, you're the only buffer you're getting is just the cardboard in between that and the box. So right. any 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 damage to the box is it's going to damage it. It's, it's going to damage it. So uh, and Cece and I had a debate of whether I was going to open this up because I knew when I got this in this type of condition. I mean, yeah. look at this, dents all over the place, that this was guaranteed, not me. And what's frustrating is that I'm a box collector. The whole point of having this is because of the art, vintage collection. You right? want to look You want to look at it. Right. So I had some words with Target. And so ultimately I've decided to at least crack open the shipper box and prove to them that it was damaged. It, it was damaged. So if you're on the fence about buying this and you don't care about the box, it's cool. Yeah, this is your opportunity to get a probably definitive Millennium Falcon. Millennium Falcon. It's right. huge. We're going to pull it out here in a minute. But if you're a box collector, pretty much guaranteed not going to be met. So let's cut, and I'm going to take it out of the box, and so you can see the artwork. Okay. All right. So here it is, folks, and we're kind of doing a compare so you can see. So this is the original Toys R Us Millennium Falcon exclusive that i think at the time was 300 mm -hmm. um and you could get this in the store and i probably went through about four or five of these to get a minty one and that. it's still not 100 percent mint but for a box of this size yeah. it, it's the sometimes best you're with, the, get. with the larger boxes sometimes you're just gonna suck it up right so you can see it's virtually the same thing what you're getting different in this one 
is you're getting some weathered paint apps, which look amazing, by the way. You're getting these storage containers. I think, is that the stuff that you hunt in the ride? Yes. The, the, the stuff that you try yes. to get? That's, that's the stuff that you're stowing away. Yes, okay. All right. You're getting the Hondo figure, the Chewbacca. Is that and, a new mold Chewbacca? No. Oh. And so, I'll be honest, the only reason why I bought this was for the five Porgs, exclusive yeah. Porgs that you, you paid. Get. You paid $100 per Porg. Per Porg. And I thought that was worth it. Yeah, that's right? worth it for right? five Porgs. I'm sure all the fans would agree. <laughs> So, and then the other thing you ultimately get is you get the... The dome. The, do yeah, well, the radar get, dish. You get the radar dish from 7 and 8. And then they give you the the original one. And if you look at mine here, it's the same thing. Yeah. It's, it's virtually the same thing. So, they changed the box art. I mean, it looks cool, right? I mean, it's got the galaxy or it's got the outpost yeah. in the background. This, this basically mimics the scene at... Uh, the that's, the, that's pretty much how it's parked and everything. Right. The, the giant right. size life size Millennium Falcon. Um, but this box is a mess. It's a mess for $400. Um, and I just can take a look here so you can kind of see the different art. This all lights up in the back, which is cool. Which, here, is, what it, which is what it does in the ride, in that actual one of the ride. Yes. And then here's your escape pod. So if you look here at yep. the escape pod, and then there's your escape pod. Yeah, so you're getting the same. The same thing, right? Um, I, but again, I mean, like if you're going to spend a extra hundred plus dollars on this, I would at least expect to get Han Solo, right? Um, so here's all the ends here, the 3000 languages, the different shooting look missiles. Look at Chewbacca laying down with the porgs. Yeah, look, he's, he's in bed with them. Look yeah, at that. That's a good fit in that little... Why does, I, why does Chewbacca look like his forehead's about to explode? Yeah, why is he barely fitting in that? <laughs> Uh, let's see what else we got. Here we go. We got a couple other cool picks. I like how every picture has got a porg in it almost. Cool. It has to. Yeah, look, look at this guy. Um, and I will say, I mean, this is an amazing toy. I mean, yeah. I mean, and I'm contemplating whether I'm going to open it because of the, the issues I had with Target. But, I mean, it's just disappointing. You know what I mean? When yeah. you spend this this type of money for a toy... Yeah, and it's destroyed. So, for comparison purposes, here is the original Millennium Falcon. The vintage. The true vintage. I mean... Is, that box is twice the size. Twice the size. Easily twice the size. E easily. And then if you look at this, cameraman, if you can get this. <laughs> look, at, look at that. How much bigger that box is. That's yeah, crazy, isn't it? It's crazy. I mean, this thing, so... And I know there's plenty of videos online, but if you're a box collector, you don't really know these things. But basically, the entire inside here is the the top portion of the ship, and then the two mandibles click in. All right, they're and, separate pieces, and there's been people that have already been complaining because yeah. the mandibles are the same size. Right, they're right. getting two lefts or two rights. Right. So again, you know how pissed I would be. Yeah. So QA again, right? Good like night. even if I open this, I dread it because yeah, you never know. People are literally getting left and right mandibles. Like they're getting they're getting two lefts or two rights. Two lefts or two left or two rights. Yeah. So you can't even, you can't even use it. Right. And you can't even call Hasbro and be like, "Yo, you sent me two of these no, mandibles." No. They're like, "Sorry, we're out of stock." Yeah. You know. So that's your two Millennium Falcons compared to the Vintage Collection original one, which is also technically a repack because it came from the Legacy version. The Legacy version. Yeah. I believe in 2008. So, so here's my question. So now they have <clears throat> this Hondo. Mm -hmm. Does this mean that you're going to be getting a Galaxy's Edge version now? Like, so like I have my Galaxy's Edge, you know, I have my mm -hmm. Galaxy Edge version of Black Series. Are you going to start getting Galaxy's Edge 375 figures? Like, he's going to come in a separate box? Well, he, he's, already, he, he's already been announced. I've already had to pre right, but What I'm saying is the card back... No, it's vintage. It's just a regular vintage. So card there's not a vintage. separate line no. like like I have now. No, okay. no, because just like with the archive vintage collection... It's just they just keep on the same card. Right. They, here's the thing. They say, well, it's because it's vintage card. Mm. you got to keep it on the vintage card, okay. right? But we don't, we're not going to package our items because we don't care how it arrives right. to you, right? So, so it will be so it's, on just, just one a regular of these. vintage cards. So now it's not like the Black Series where they have the gaming grates, no. the carbonized, no. the trading, the Galaxy's Edge now, right. and the irregular. So they have four versions. No. Oh, and the 40th sets that come on the vintage card back. So no. I have five different versions <laughs> that I can get. So that's good. As a Black Series collector, I'm very happy about that. <laughs> yes, yeah. So there, you go. so there you go, folks. The good old vintage collection Millennium Falcon. 
Um, it's if you don't care about the box and you you want this vehicle finally, yeah. then there you go. It's it's marginally worth getting. I mean, that version is, is going to run you six or seven hundred dollars. Right, because because it's out. Because yeah. it's, you can't get it's it out. anymore. So if this is your chance to get it. It is virtually the same thing as right. that. Just a little upgrade. It's 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 minorly upgraded. Yeah. So, um, but if you're looking for this in the box, good luck. Yeah, it can take you. It's gonna uh, you almost you're almost better off getting it on a secondary market, paying right. a little more, right. but saying, but knowing when you buy it, it's mint. So, right. per, you know, putting your faith in the in that person, the seller, right. to get it to you mint. Right. I can only imagine what this costs to ship. I mean, this box, no, it's gotta be probably weighs 80 bucks, 20 90 pounds. bucks. Yeah. yeah. So. No, it's it's crazy. And when I go to Disney in a few weeks, I, if I see that box, I'm gonna I'm gonna be like, just, oh, I'm gonna be like, you gotta be kidding me, it's here. Cause I know, I know I'm gonna find these guys here cause I've already seen them popping up. Yeah. So. That ends the that ends this part of the show. But I want it before, before because this we talked about this before the show. Yeah. So Hasbro Pulse is doing its sales for its yes. for its con. It's con. So we want the fans' opinion about. Right. So this, this is coming September twenty third, twenty fourth, twenty fifth, twenty sixth weekend of September. Right. September. So this episode is going to air September the weekend before. This right. episode is airing, so we're a week we're a week away. Right. Okay. Right. So here's the concern. So the two figures that the two things I'm trying to get are the Wampa, which uh -huh. comes in a foil. It's foil, by the way. Right. It's foil. So it's a vintage. It looks like where you, you just didn't you? Yeah. Have, do you have your Wampa? Yeah. Oh, that's that. the vintage Wampa. Yeah. But don't you have a Wampa? Like yeah, yeah, there's a Wampa. So yeah. I'm getting a Black Series Wampa in a vintage pack it's which a, is a repack it's a repack of the one i already have right right that came in the black series box with haunt with luke hanging upside down yes okay yes. So this one has some blood on it. <laughs> so it's a repack but it comes in now because black series has turned into another version of the vintage, the vintage collection. collection yep it's in the vintage collection box so yep. the wampa and i'm getting the heroes of endor set mm -hmm. which comes in this very weird like engineered wow box that has like different scene windows in it mm -hmm. so you have like the ewok window you have a scene with leia and han and luke you have another ewok on a speeder it's a bunch of different scenes that the whole box kind of opens right. that's like 150 dollars right so these those are two things i'm getting you're getting the three pack of the troopers right right okay yeah the clone trooper guys so hasbro announced yesterday that on the 23rd and 24th september will be the dates that you can pre-order these mm -hmm. right but the caveat is that on the 23rd if you're a Hasbro Pulse premium member, mm -hmm. you'll get first dibs. So there's there's an allotment, so many of that for that day that only premium members can get. Then once those are gone, on the 24th, it's open to everybody. Yeah. Right. So my question to you is, it's $50 for the premium pass. Mm -hmm. Do I just pay the $50, become a premium member just so I can save money? Because if I don't get them on the 24th, I'm gonna spend more than $50 more to pay for money. I find it. I find, and this is why we want the fans' opinion on this. I find it remarkable that Hasbro is now charging you premium money, premium money to order stuff early. To order stuff early, and there's still no guarantee I'm going to get it. Right. Because right. if it's, it's I'm going to be, I'm going to be essentially fighting bots. Right. Right. So <laughs> right. if I don't get it on the 23rd, that premium fifty dollars was a waste of money. Right. Because now I have to wait again. Right. And try to purchase it, and I don't know what time it's going to be. It's going to probably be nine o'clock, ten o'clock in the morning. Right. It's remarkable that that's what... So they're saying we can't get enough of these figures. So we're going to A, make them exclusive. Oh, yes. And then on top of that, we're going to say we can't get enough of them out. So we're going to charge you a premium. Just to even have a chance. So you potentially have a chance to get them early. Do you believe that? That's is that... Is that... I mean, fans, come on. Right. Seriously. That has to be... That's like robbery. It right? is. I mean, that you're saying you're saying if you want to have a chance, you got to pay me an extra $50. <laughs> So we want to get your your opinion because I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Yeah. So if you're a premium member of of Hasbro Post, let us know what you think. Of yeah. It. What what are the benefits am I gonna get other than right. just not getting scalped on eBay? Right. Like I mean, I know you may get some extra emails. About, well, I don't want emails. Right. I, I want just, toys. Right. I would just want the figure. So yeah. Let us know what you think, and uh, until next time, right? Yeah. Until next time, fans. Peace.